everybody, I am Annika Wooten, Miss Kansas 2019. I've been involved in the Miss America organization over a decade at this point. I competed in the teen division and then actually competed for the title of Miss Kansas seven times. But throughout that time, I earned over $32,000 in scholarship to go toward my education. Tons of women compete for the title of Miss America every year, but this year, the class of 2020 wanted to bring some fun videos to your home to keep you entertained and having fun and learning some new skills along the way. So I actually have a background in illustration. I have my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Illustration from the University of Kansas. And so today I'm gonna to teach you a couple watercolor techniques. So I'm gonna do kind of a hyperlapse so that you can see uh, the process of it all and I'll talk you through a couple different steps and techniques techniques so that you can create watercolor paintings of your own. So let's get started. I have three different paintbrushes set out, a big one, a medium one, a detail brush, a paper towel to wipe off my brushes, of course watercolors and watercolor paper, a palette or plate or some sort to put the paints on, and a big cup of water to wash out your brushes in between your colors. So I'm doing three vignette illustrations for you today. One is flowers, one is an eyeball, and one is a sunset. So to start with these flowers first, I'm using the shape of the brush to really inform the shape of these petals and using a wet on wet technique. So here I'm adding different colors into the other colors as they're still wet to let them bleed together on purpose. Now with the eyeball, the color starts bleeding not so much on purpose, and that's because I was a little bit impatient and it started bleeding into the skin tone. Blocked out the sunset real quick, we'll get back to that gradient, but you see that I'm bouncing between these different illustrations to try and keep myself more patient as the layers are drying. Back on the sunset, adding in some water with that basic gradient and some detail on the water using my detailed brush to go back in and do some line drawings of the flowers and then back to this eye. The eye is gonna be the most involved out of the three and require a lot more patience, a lot more layers. Watercolors are very transparent, so you wanna work from light to dark, building up the darker colors. Once you put down the dark colors, it's almost impossible to get them back. But going in with my smaller brushes, using the paper towel to blot where colors have bled and I don't necessarily want them, but also embracing that green eyeshadow using the detail brush on the eyeball as well as that eyebrow to really build up that depth, adding some more color in there, and then also using it to hone in the eyelashes and really bring this to life. Final details and shading before I go in with a white gel pen to add some details that I wasn't able to maintain in the sunset and the eye. But there you have it. Those are three very different illustrations using the exact same tools. This first one with the sunset is a gradient, using the wet on wet to bleed the colors from the blue down into the warmer tones, and then using that white gel pen to get the highlights on the water and the clouds in the sky. With the flowers, same thing with the wet on wet, letting the colors bleed into each other with more informed and structured shapes. And finally, this eye. Obviously the most detailed of the three of them that required a lot more layers, more patience, but this just goes to show you that if you keep practicing with this craft, whether you're starting with very basic shapes and colors, or if you're going a lot more in depth and detailed, you can get some really incredible art out of watercolors, and it just might surprise you what you can create. Okay, and that is it. Thank you for tuning in to my watercolor demonstration today. If you painted with me or if you use any techniques from this video, please post a photo on social media and use the hashtag Miss America How To. If you would like to follow along with the rest of my year as Miss Kansas, you can follow me on Instagram at Miss America KS or my personal Instagram, Annika.Wooten for Life After the Crown. But make sure that you are subscribed to the Miss America YouTube channel and all of the Miss America social media channels so that you don't miss any of the episodes of the Miss America How to series brought to you by the class of 2020. Bye everybody.